Sandstorms arise when high winds blow over loose sand in arid and semi-arid regions, lifting sand particles into the air. This phenomenon is common in desert areas where these particles are not held down by vegetation or moisture. The intensity and duration of a sandstorm can vary depending on the strength of the wind and the quantity of sandy material available. Sandstorms can reduce visibility, disrupt transportation, and cause respiratory issues. They can also damage crops, buildings, and machinery by sandblasting surfaces. Dust storms are natural disasters when strong winds in arid and semi-arid regions lift large amounts of loose dust and sand into the atmosphere. This happens primarily when dry, unprotected soil is disturbed by high winds driven by strong atmospheric pressure gradients. Human activities like deforestation and land degradation can exacerbate these conditions and climate change may increase their frequency and severity by altering weather patterns and accelerating desertification. Dust storms involve finer particles that travel higher and farther, affecting air quality and visibility over large areas, while sandstorms carry larger sand particles close to the ground, mainly in deserts. Hailstorms occur when updrafts in thunderstorms carry raindrops upward into extremely cold areas of the atmosphere. These updrafts are strong vertical winds that can lift droplets of water high enough that they freeze into balls of ice. As these ice pellets are tossed around in the cloud by turbulent air, they can collide with other droplets and freeze together, growing larger with each ascent. Once these hailstones become too heavy for the updrafts to support, they fall to the ground as hail. Typically, strong updrafts are needed to form larger hailstones, which is why hailstorms are often associated with severe thunderstorms. Hailstorms can cause significant damage, including destruction of crops, damage to vehicles, and buildings, personal injuries, and environmental impacts like defoliation and soil erosion. Ice storms are severe winter weather events characterized by the freezing of rain as it falls and contact surfaces that are at or below freezing temperature. This process starts with a layer of warm air situated between two layers of cold air. Precipitation forms in the upper cold layer and then falls into the warm layer where it melts into rain. As this rain continues to fall into the lower cold layer near the Earth's surface, it becomes supercooled. When this supercooled rain makes contact with surfaces such as trees, cars, roads, or power lines that are at freezing temperatures, it instantly freezes, forming a coating of ice. This accumulation of ice can lead to hazardous conditions, including slippery roads and significant damage to infrastructure due to the weight of the ice. A heat wave is a prolonged period of excessively hot weather, which may be intensified by high humidity and is considered a natural disaster when it significantly exceeds regional temperature averages and persists for several days. Increasingly common due to climate change, heat waves pose severe health risks like heat exhaustion and heat stroke, especially in urban areas where the heat island effect exacerbates temperatures. Although heat waves do not damage infrastructure like other natural disasters, they can cause substantial human casualties and strain resources. Thunderstorms form when warm, moist air rises into an unstable atmosphere. As this air ascends, it cools and condenses into storm clouds. The interaction between rising warm air and sinking cool air, also known as updrafts and downdrafts, drives the storm within these clouds. This process generates precipitation and creates conditions for lightning, as static electricity builds up from friction between charged particles. Eventually, cooling downdrafts stabilize the air, causing the thunderstorm to dissipate. This cycle can unfold quickly, often within an hour, leading to brief but intense storms. Avalanches occur when a layered snowpack becomes unstable, often triggered by natural factors like heavy snowfall, temperature changes, or human activities such as skiing. A weak layer within the snowpack may fail, causing the overlying snow slab to break free and slide downhill. As it moves, the slab can gather more snow, gaining mass and speed, which amplifies its destructive power. The avalanche eventually loses momentum and settles when the terrain flattens. This rapid and robust process can unfold in seconds, posing a significant danger. Wildfires are natural disasters fueled by vegetation and exacerbated by hot, dry weather and strong winds. They often ignite naturally via lightning strikes or volcanic activity. Once started, wildfires spread rapidly as wind carries flames, sparks, and embers to new areas, igniting spot fires. 
They continue to burn until fuel is depleted or conditions change, such as increased humidity or rainfall, or they are extinguished by firefighting efforts. This rapid spread can cause extensive damage to landscapes, ecosystems, and property. Blizzards are severe winter storms that arise from cold air, moisture, atmospheric lift, and strong winds. Essential cold temperatures help form and maintain snow. Moisture, often sourced from large bodies of water, feeds the formation of snow clouds. When moist air is lifted by colliding air masses with different temperatures, it cools and condenses into snow. Winds exceeding 35 miles per hour lift and blow the snow, creating whiteout conditions and heavy drifts. These conditions can persist for hours or days, severely impacting safety, transportation, and utilities. Tornadoes are intense windstorms forming from powerful supercell thunderstorms with a rotating updraft known as a mesocyclone. They require warm, moist air at the surface and cooler, dry air above to create atmospheric instability. Wind shear, involving changes in wind speed and direction with altitude, facilitates the mesocyclone's rotation. When this rotating column stretches vertically and touches the ground, it forms a tornado capable of traveling miles and reaching over 300 miles per hour in wind speed. Tornadoes are unpredictable, short-lived, and can cause extensive damage. Cryoseisms, or frostquakes, occur when water in the ground rapidly freezes during a sharp temperature drop, typically in areas saturated with moisture from melting snow or rain. As water freezes, it expands, exerting pressure on its surroundings. If the pressure becomes too great, it causes the frozen soil or rock to crack suddenly, releasing energy as seismic waves. These events, most common in upper latitudes during cold snaps, produce loud booms and localized shaking, similar to earthquakes, but generally less potent. Geomagnetic storms are disturbances in Earth's magnetosphere caused by solar activity like solar flares or coronal mass ejections, which release charged particles into space. When these particles collide with Earth's magnetic field, they can cause magnetic reconnection, rearranging magnetic field lines and releasing energy. This process accelerates particles toward the poles, resulting in auroras and potentially disrupting satellites, communication systems, and power grids. These storms vary in intensity and can significantly impact technological systems. Landslides are rapid movements of earth and rock down a slope, often triggered by erosion, heavy rainfall, earthquakes, or human activity destabilizing the land. These events can initiate a slide when the slope's material loses cohesion and starts moving, sometimes with devastating speed and volume. Landslides can bury infrastructure and homes, resulting in significant destruction and loss of life, often with little warning. Floods occur when excessive water overwhelms an area's capacity to contain it, primarily due to heavy rainfall, river overflows, storm surges, or dam failures. Urban settings are particularly vulnerable as impervious surfaces block natural water absorption. Floods can develop quickly or over time, leading to widespread damage to infrastructure and property and posing risks to life. Droughts are prolonged periods of abnormally low rainfall, leading to a water shortage. They occur when there is a persistent pattern of diminished precipitation combined with other climatic factors, such as high temperatures, high winds, and low humidity, which can increase evaporation rates. The onset of droughts is gradual, making them less noticeable initially, but potentially devastating as soil, lakes, and reservoirs deplete water reserves. This lack of water can severely impact agriculture, water supply, and ecosystems. Hurricanes, powerful tropical storms, form over warm ocean waters at least 26.5 degrees Celsius, providing necessary heat and moisture. As warm, moist air rises and cooler air rushes in, this cycle fuels the storm. The air's condensation releases heat, intensifying the storm, while the Earth's rotation causes the air to swirl cyclonically, forming the storm's spiral shape. If conditions like continuous warm water and minimal wind shear persist, the storm can intensify into a hurricane with a distinct eye. Hurricanes are capable of causing extensive damage due to high winds, heavy rainfall, and storm surges. 
Earthquakes occur when stress accumulated along the edges of Earth's tectonic plates overcomes the friction holding them in place, causing the plates to suddenly shift. This release of energy sends seismic waves radiating outward, which shake the ground. The intensity of an earthquake depends on the amount of stress released and the area over which the plates move. These natural events can happen along any type of fault line. Volcanic eruptions begin when magma, formed by the partial melting of Earth's mantle due to heat and pressure, rises because it is less dense than the surrounding rock. When this pressure exceeds the rock's capacity to contain it, magma bursts through the surface, leading to an eruption. The eruption's style, whether explosive or effusive, depends largely on the magma's viscosity and gas content. Thick, gas-rich magma tends to explode, scattering ash, volcanic bombs, and creating pyroclastic flows, while fluid magma results in gentle lava flows. Post-eruption, the lava cools to form new rock formations, reshaping the landscape. Tsunamis are large ocean waves caused by sudden disturbances like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or underwater landslides on the ocean floor. These events displace vast amounts of water, generating waves that travel rapidly across the ocean. As tsunamis approach shallower coastal areas, their speed decreases and their height increases, leading to potentially devastating impacts on shorelines, including flooding and significant destruction. Tsunamis can travel long distances with little energy loss, posing threats far from their origin. Limnic eruptions, or lake overturns, occur when dissolved carbon dioxide in deep lake waters is suddenly released due to a disturbance like an earthquake or volcanic activity. This release can happen when stratified lake layers are disrupted, causing CO2-rich water to rise and effervesce, similar to opening a carbonated drink. The resulting gas cloud, heavier than air, can suffocate wildlife, livestock, and humans as it flows downhill into surrounding areas. Glacial lake outburst floods occur when the dam of a glacier or moraine holding back a lake fails due to increasing pressure from rising water levels, often caused by accelerated glacial melting. This sudden release of water can cause rapid and severe flooding downstream, devastating landscapes, villages, and infrastructure. These events are unpredictable and particularly dangerous in regions where glaciers are retreating. Toxic or harmful algal blooms occur when algae and water systems grow excessively due to abundant nutrients, often from agricultural runoff or wastewater, combined with warm, calm, and sunny conditions. Some algae produce toxins that, when released into the water or air as the algae die, can cause health issues like respiratory problems and severe illness. These blooms can deplete oxygen in the water, creating dead zones that kill fish and disrupt ecosystems, posing significant environmental and economic risks. Sinkholes occur mainly in areas with limestone or other soluble rock substrates where acidic rainwater dissolves the rock, forming underground voids. Over time, these expanding voids undermine the surface's structural integrity. Various triggers, such as heavy rainfall, flooding, or human activities like construction and groundwater extraction, can cause the ground above to suddenly collapse into these voids, creating sinkholes. Meteor strikes occur when a meteoroid from space enters Earth's atmosphere, traveling at high speeds and generating intense heat due to friction, which often causes it to burn up, visible as a shooting star. If the meteoroid is large enough to withstand this heat, it can reach the Earth's surface, creating impact craters and potentially causing significant damage. While rare, the consequences of more extensive meteor strikes can range from localized devastation to global climate effects and mass extinctions. Solar flares are intense bursts of radiation resulting from the release of magnetic energy associated with sunspots on the sun. They occur when the sun's magnetic fields concentrated around sunspots become twisted and unstable. When these fields suddenly realign or reconnect, they release vast amounts of energy across the electromagnetic spectrum, affecting Earth's satellite communications and power grids, although they are not directly harmful to humans on the surface.